Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Forces Street. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. What we're doing is we're going to jump into the second event here for, I believe it is a Tiberus is who we're facing off against. So we've got a few bits and pieces here that we here are sort of looking at trying to, you know, progress on with. And what I am thinking is, I think we're going to run maybe a muscle setup and possibly focus setup keep it a little bit different and what I am thinking we should do is we should probably go down the bottom path so why not let's start the event okay and we'll let these guys sort of talk it out if you guys want to pause the video you guys can I'm just gonna speed read as we are uh, sort of clicking along okay and there's a bit of going forth and back here thank you just let me race I think that's what we all come here to see all right so I'll save the focus but let's do this and we'll do the dynamic race as well and we'll see how the Chevelle runs Kind of like the, uh, the the muscle cars. So the Chevelle's a really nice car. I mean, unfortunately, here in Australia, we don't have, well, we've never had, you know, Chevelle um, at all. So, but we've had other cars that are very, very similar in the muscle space. But obviously, you know, all GM orientated, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, for those people that are playing at home, but um, nice cars nonetheless. And let us move on with that, perfect, we're still ahead, which is good, so dynamic is, it's actually really good, it sort of keeps you on your toes still, even though they, ooh, looks like he drifted right out, that was not good, um, alright, I'm just going to see if I can just keep up with him, because that wasn't really, that was really weird, sort of like floated across, like he didn't have any grip in the tyres, so I have no idea why that had happened, but we're perfect, perfect, we're pretty much alongside him and we're just gonna push our way through and finish off of this race that's interesting I don't know why the car looked like it actually slid across and sort of drifting across a bit of understeer I don't know but interesting to know if there's going to be any sort of future upgrades in that sort of space maybe you know better tires you know for better gripping and things like that when you're taking corners I guess that that would be a really cool thing if they would do that if the developers would actually sort of get involved and you know upgrade certain attributes of the game now I mean look the game has only just come out so you can't really expect too much out of it straight away out of the box so I guess what we we've got what we've got for now but to sort of make the games a little bit more interesting maybe introduce something like that I don't know I think that might be something um, pretty cool if that would be a thing I mean that's not to say if it's already in the game I haven't progressed that far within the game to sort of know what would be available as you sort of continue on through the story mode there um i'll probably throw it back to you guys in the comments there if you guys have already experienced that um is there any changes do you get any other additions to the game that makes it a little bit more challenging aside from what we've got now drop them in the comments i mean i'll be i'll be interested to know but i, I reckon you know to save you know um save your car a little bit from drifting off the side as you sort of uh, had seen just there with the focus um, you know, would that sort of become a thing that would have better grip, usability, and, you know, that would translate into faster times. You know, you may not necessarily need to have the fastest car, I guess, you know, in, in terms of um, raw engine power or, you know, force induction, things like that. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. Because I reckon you can do a lot with these sort of games here. This guy's just come out of nowhere. Oh, wow. I just completely got roasted right there. He just came right out, right from behind. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, so we're gonna have to go ahead and maybe just back it off a little bit, just to ensure the victory and just move on. And we'll um, do a bit of a repeat. Not what I wanted to do, but if you guys saw my previous video, you guys would have a bit of a laugh at that too. Because yeah, I spent a couple of races just trying to nut out one one race and for the life of me for whatever reason, just was not able to get past as easy as I sort of made it for myself. 
I don't know. I was probably very, very careless <laughs> in running that race. But anyway, it is what it is. We move on, and I think we should probably get past this easy enough. We'll see. We'll see how we go. But yeah, I would think that maybe developers could look at that. Maybe look how wide I went like that there. You think with better tyres, that wouldn't be an issue. This guy's already coming up on side me too as well. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Alright, I'm going to have to... I don't think I'm going to catch him. I honestly don't think I'm going to catch him here. I've come up right behind him and again. Really? What is going on with this? Oh, wow. I don't, I really don't want to push it down to 395 because I shouldn't have to do that. I should be looking at the stats, but again, I shouldn't have to. This car should have pretty much all available power and ability to put this guy away. I've well, got a perfect launch. This is what I'm saying. Is that there should be an element that we can have within our control to you know, upgrade the way that the car handles in terms of while while we're racing as well, just to sort of make it a little bit more engaging. I don't know why I've lost twice in a row like this. And again, this is pretty much a repeat of, the, of my previous video. Um, so check that out if you guys want to have a bit of a laugh at that too. But I don't know why that has happened. It is what it is. And we'll just, you know, see if we can, can just get past it, I guess. I mean, looking at, looking at this now, we're way out in front and the whole dynamic has just changed. It's not even a dynamic run for it to sort of stipulate that we can, that we should be, or we should have should won or should have lost, who knows, but yeah, I have absolutely no clue what's happened there, but like I said, I'm just going to move on because that's the best for all of us here. Um, all right, let's just collect that and collect that okay do you want to get your new car I just want to no I just want to collect and keep going no need to collect that but I'm gonna to have to repair the focus unfortunately didn't want to do that but all good I'm not gonna go full difficulty here because again now I just can't trust myself not too sure if there's been an update that's changed that. I don't think there has, but let's um, let's just move on. Okay, cool, perfect launch right at the tippity top there of that um, that sweet spot too. Don't think that translates into a better launch above that. I guess if you, as long as you get it in the green, you get it in the green, and you just move on. There we go. And here we go for the second corner. There we go, just slamming perfects all over the place, which is good. That's what we want. And we're going to head up to the last corner here. Yeah, I'm going to hold off purposely. I know he's coming up behind me. There's no point in me hitting the nitrous here. But I'll hit it now. And at least this way there should give me enough room to move or to breathe really because I doubt he'll get anywhere near me very good easy as you like all done cool all right so let's move on from here and what have we got we're actually nearly done which is good so I wonder I would imagine actually once we've um, uh, leveled up to say like level 15 for example obviously we can increase our collection of cars that we can have that we take with us for future events and things like that which will be always a good thing but also I'd like to see how big these matches will get for us once um, we get to you know the later chapters and things like that the endurance that these cars would have. I think, you know, things like the spanners there will have to become a contributing factor as well in the way that you sort of manage uh, your cars and things like that. So I guess there's gonna be a strategic element 
when you enter an event. So I'm guessing, you know, right now, there's really nothing. You, you, there'll probably be a very, very small percentage of, you know, uh, making sure that you guys can, you know, obviously uh, compete in the, in the events, of course, so by, you know, what type of um, performance you have versus, you know, the opponents that you would have. But I would imagine later on you would have a lot more um, thinking to do and planning out. So, yeah, that's my thought on that. Oop, I went way too early on that, but let's just prematurely hit the nitrous, which I didn't really intend to do, wanted to do. Will I actually get... Are you serious? Will I actually... Oh, look at that. Buy a nose. And there you go, the raw power of this muscle car just, you know, gets me out of trouble. Love it. Absolutely love it. So that's good. So we, we've completed that part, which was awesome. Um, okay. The hands on money. There you go. This guy is pretty. He's pretty, um, pretty big of himself, doesn't he? It's probably the best way to put it. But we've completed this. We can move on to. So we've got a few bits and pieces there, which is always good. We can move on to event three. I think we'll probably try and smash this out real quickly. If there's a straight line, of course. And I don't think there is much of a straight line, to be honest. Just looking at it. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of an endurance. So if I were to get my next blue car, would be the Nissan. And if, and this is, I'm only sort of looking at this purely because of, um, I guess, trying to manage my cars and without using spanners and things like that. I think that's probably what I'm sort of trying to look at there and just making sure, you know, do I have the horsepower to push through these events? And I guess this is where you sort of fall into this trap where you're doing, a, you're, you know, doing up cars, all that sort of good stuff. But what happens is, I'm going to go up this way actually, let's go up this way, there's only one race and then I can sort of divert myself. Anyway. This is what I'm thinking, and this is, and this is, oh, this is a way too easy, way too hard. Let's do the way too hard. Let's see how we go with the way too hard. Yeah, so just sort of looking at it from a point of view that it's going to obviously get me through the races quicker or the event quicker. I don't know how I'm going to go with this. Modern versus classic. This guy looks a little bit overpowered, but we'll see how we go. Again, does this make a difference? I have no idea. Again, I should probably be looking at the stats just to see what I'm walking myself into, but again, we can only sort of try our best. So far, we're off to a positive start, I'd like to think. And if I, if I keep this up, I should probably hopefully have the win on this. So I suspect that he'll probably be catching up to me right now. So the final corner. Okay, so a near perfect race is right behind me. So I'm just gonna go for it and just get out of sight. Kept up with me. I failed that one corner. So a near perfect race went begging, but that doesn't matter because the wind was there and that's all that counts. So we move on. Okay, and let's just go ahead and grab the coinage here. Collect and let's collect and then either here. Well, I need to face this um, the Merc here, but I can either go down this way or I can just cheap it and go down this way. But what I'm looking at here is I've got uh, some chips there that I can get my hands on if I wanted to. And I guess that's another thing I can sort of look at as well. I do have the muscle car here, so I could possibly go ahead and do that. While I'm doing it, I may as well. Yeah. Anyway. May as well do it. So I think I've got enough in there. So let's go ahead and try and take out the Merc here. All right, here we go. Let's 
go for a good launch. No, oh, I wanted the perfect launch. Didn't want the good launch, but that doesn't matter. Again, I reckon, I reckon it's all in the launch here. It sort of sets you up for the race that you, you're going to have. Especially when the, the race is going to be that close or very tight in terms of your car's performance versus your opponent's car's performance. Yeah, I don't know where he is behind me, but I might have a decent up on this. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to hold, hold off on this. And we'll use this for the straight line. He's trying now. I'm just going to push, and I think I should be fine. There we go. He's coming behind. He's coming up behind me. It looks like he probably got like a last win just before the end of that stretch, but no match. Alrighty. So we'll go down this way. And I might even be able to do a dynamic race with the Chevy as well. There we go. We'll see how we go with this. I'm doubtful, but we'll see how this all plan, uh, pans out. Got to make it interesting for you guys. If I if I leave it on the normal hard setting, it's not, it's going to be an easy race. Let me see. Here we go. Alright, so best possible start, and let's just hope we um, we come out on top. Okay, get back on the straight and hit the boost. There we go. Let go too early. I, I knew we didn't want to do that. And I went back on too early. That that's that's going to hurt me. That will definitely hurt me. Because he's already gone past me quite considerably. Uh, hopefully this will be enough for me to get through. And it is. Very good. Okay. How are we looking? I think there's two more races after this. Let's go ahead and claim those chips, cards, whatever you want to call them. Okay. And let's take on this fella here. Even with the dynamic, this is going to be, well, considering an easier race compared to the other one. But I say that now, and then what, what happens afterwards? Well, we'll see. All right, let's do this. Get another perfect launch, there we go. Pretty even start. It's keeping up, no? Yes, I was actually keeping up. Oh, just pulling ahead. There we go. Right, I'm just gonna hit it a little bit earlier. Let's just get ourselves some breathing room. Ooh. See that it just completely, completely just moves right out of the way. It's like a complete drift right out of the way. I don't know how I feel about that. Like I said, hopefully if the developers look at this and maybe make improvements on the game for like tire-wise and things like that, I think that'd be pretty cool. That's just me. You know, better grip and handling for those corners. I don't know. Should be right. There we go. All good here. In fact, I probably thought this, this would have been a closer race compared to the previous one. Alright, so one more race and we're done. Some more credits there. There we go. And we are on the last one. And should I do the dynamic for this? Let's have a look at the stats. So there we go. It's got better speed, way better speed than my car. 
I don't know if that's I don't know if that was the right decision, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Alright, poor start. If it's not a perfect launch, it's a poor start. Doesn't matter what it is. And he's right on me now. Right. We're sort of like nudging each other here. Yeah, I've got a bit of lag on my phone here, which is not the best. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to lose this on our end. Even though that he went completely wide himself, I still think that this is probably not going to be my race. Maybe. Needed that perfect hit, and then... Nah, you see, look, he's way ahead of me now. Way ahead of me. If I didn't get the poor entry, or exit was it, I think I would have been okay. Yeah, that okay corner really screwed me up. So, we'll do this one more time, but I think I will... Whoop. See, that's what I wanted to avoid using as well. So the less that I have to use, the better. Of course, I'm going to get a lot more as I'm sort of, you know, progressing and things like that. But this is where I'm looking at it from a strategic point of view. To use them less so you don't have to use them whilst you're in the event. At least this way, when you do need them, you've got them there. I guess that's my thought process with that. There we go. All right, so better start. So we should be a little, in a little bit better shape coming into the first corner. Yes, it's exactly the same as the previous race. Okay. And just get out ahead a little bit. Okay, well, it's only just good, but not great. <laughs> Alright, so we're still okay. So we've got the perfect TR. Alright, as soon as I straighten up. I'm on it, and that's it, that's, that's the race. See, the difference there, it does actually make quite a bit of difference when you do that. So you just gotta make sure that you are taking better corners or not getting late or early um, starts or, or exits and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, if you guys ended up enjoying this one here today, please drop a like, comment down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, like what you're seeing here, consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you guys can, please share the video. That'll really help me out quite a lot. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Take it easy. And as always, I will catch you next time.